What's up everybody, Ricky Carruth here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I wanna give you an idea of my thoughts on first two weeks as a father. First two weeks of fatherhood has been so amazing. Uh, it really has. Uh, a lot of people say, you know you, you know, you just don't know how it's gonna feel until it happens, and that's absolutely true. Um, so many emotions, so many just, it's just an amazing feeling, to be honest with you. Those of you who don't know, a couple weeks ago I had my first child, which was a little girl, uh, Whitley. She is a very, very special, beautiful child, and she sleeps. A lot of people say, you know, are you getting any sleep? Are you getting any sleep? Yes, she is sleeping. She has slept since she was born. She actually was born and made zero noise when she was born. Um, you know, you know, we gave her birth. You know, she was on my wife's chest for a second. They took her and and started, you know, cleaning her up and everything. She didn't make a sound. And me and my wife were both after a couple, after you know, 30 seconds or so, we're like, hey guys, is everything okay over there? Um, you know, and they're like, yeah, she's fine. You know, I looked over there and I could see she was breathing and everything. She she looked like she was fine, and she was fine. She's just a very quiet child. <laughs> she she hasn't made hardly any sounds, and uh, she she cries. She's crying a little bit when she's hungry, but then she sleeps, and through the night she sleeps. And so we have to wake her up to feed her. My wife has an alarm set every two or three hours, whatever the schedule is. She wakes up. She has to wake Whitley up to feed her. So, um, you know, that part of it, I think we've been extremely lucky to have um, to have a baby that, you know, doesn't have colic, uh, isn't crying and keeping us up all night and all that good stuff. So that's been a complete blessing right there. As far as my schedule, um, it's affected me a little, but everybody before, you know, at, leading up to the birth, Everybody was trying to scare me into thinking that, oh God, and, and I knew the whole time it wasn't gonna really affect me at all. I'm still getting up at 4.30, I'm still answering the DMs, I'm still going to the gym, I'm still working normal hours, um, all that good stuff. So um, I'm spending a lot of time with the baby as well. I come home on lunch, spend time with her then. Uh, all evening after work, I'm spending time with her then. So we're getting a lot of time uh, spent together. And the cool thing is, is Anytime I want to spend time with her, I can just drop what I'm doing and go spend time with her. You know, my business and the way my life is, I do what I want to do when I want to do it. That's the way that I've set it up. And that's how I hope all of you guys will set your businesses up. But I wanted to share with you, you know, on top of the amazing level of unconditional love and, uh, you know, the feeling of being so blessed to have a child and to have a wife who is probably the highest caliber of a mother that you could possibly ask for. Um, there's not a, there's no way that there is a higher level of the way that she has been a mother um, so far. It's just completely incredible. And, you know, I expected her to be, you know, this way, but she's taken it even to a higher level than I expected, beating all expectations and just, really on top of every little situation and you know just she's just so loving and so I, i've gotten you know i'm kind of going on but i've been so lucky i just want you guys to know how lucky i've been with you know <laughs> my wife and my child so far super blessed but when i the one thing i wanted to talk about that has really hit me hard and that i've really realized uh, you know, of course, this is secondary to the unconditional love and that I have for her and my wife at this point. It just keeps growing more and more and more. But under that, okay, and just thinking about it in more of a success level, business level, motivation level, so on and so forth, the one thing that I realized really hardcore was how completely helpless babies are when they're born. You know, they are completely 100% dependent on someone to take care of them. And it really made me think about how every single human, made me realize this, how every single human out there, every single one of them started from that. They started from a baby who could not do anything for themselves. They couldn't talk, they couldn't, you know, focus. They couldn't change their own diaper. They couldn't feed themselves. Nothing. 
absolutely zero. You know, you think of the most successful people in the world. You know, the highest of the highest successful people in the world. You know, uh, Steve Jobs and you know Warren Buffett and you know all these people that were the, that are the most successful. And then you come down the different tiers of successful people. Every single person started from not knowing what was going on, having someone else take care of them. And it really opened my eyes up to the possibilities and what we can do in the span of our life. We're only here for so long. We start out not being able to take care of ourselves. We all start from zero and we work our way from there and we create the life that we want to create from nothing. I don't care how rich your family was or what kind of family you came from or if you came from nothing, uh, whatever, wherever your, your circumstances are, we all start from not being able to take care of ourselves. And I think that is just simply amazing. And, and it, give, it should give you so much motivation to know that you can create the success that you want. If anybody else in the world has done it, then you can do it. Anything you put your mind to, it's all up here. Anything that you put your mind to, you can do it. So that was my big takeaway as far as, you know, what, you know, something that I've really just, it's really made me think about the fact that we've all come from zero to be where we are today and we've all created the life that we have. It also brings up another point. Um, you know, you, you are the reason why you are where you are. If you are not as successful as you want to be, if you are a failure, if you are incarcerated, if you are this, if you're that, whatever, if you're if you're a hundred million dollar net worth, you're there because of you. Okay, you're either successful because of you or you're not successful because of you. You create it either way, right? And it's all perspective. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I'm just overjoyed with um, how everything has went. Um, you know, in terms of my life so far, I'm just super happy. This is the happiest I've ever been, um, to be honest with you as well. And I'm just looking forward to 2020. It's going to be a really big year. I'm really more focused on the work that I'm going to put into 2020 that's going to put me in position to have a breakout year 2024. Like I, I'm, I'm focused on 2020, but I'm only focused on it because I know it's a stepping stone to build the momentum and pour gasoline on that fire for the business that I'm building for 2024. I just feel like 2024 is going to be my real breakout year. I think 2020 is going to be a breakout year, but I think 2024 is going to be the breakout year. I don't know why. I just feel that way for some reason. It's just in my gut. So anyway, I hope you guys have an incredible day. Thanks for watching. Of course, let me know if there's anything in the world I can do for you. Um, just shoot me a comment or DM me on Instagram. Be sure to subscribe to my channel here. Hit that like button. We'll see you guys on the next video. Let's go.